This week on Premier Interschools, we look ahead to a massive encounter in Bloemfontein. As Great College rock horns with Paul Boys High, live on Supersport. Premier Interschools rugby, feast your eyes on it! All of the schools ready to sing to one another, the players back to the fans. That the sidestep. Oh, oh, that's the stuff. Schoolboy rugby, ladies and gentlemen. In this week's contest, two of South Africa's strongest rugby schools, Grey College, founded in 1855, and Paul Boys High, founded in 1865, come head to head. Both schools have long histories and a proud rugby legacy. Both are regularly in the top five ranked schools in the country. This will be an epic encounter between two giants of schoolboy rugby. Gray College is the third oldest school in the country and the oldest north of the Orange River. In 1904, the University of the Free State originated out of the school and the two campuses are next to one another in Bloemfontein. One lesson we've learned is grasp every moment, carpe diem, as I say. Grasp every moment, play, practice, and enjoy life. We're quite excited for them and the coaches. You won't believe the impact this has had on the coaches as well. Just to make sure that these boys showcase their talents, they're out there, they can play, and they love the game. We have been successful in the past in our sporting circles, so you need to stay humble at all times. So you'll see when the boys manage to score a try, they'll run back, they'll greet their teammates with a traditional grey handshake. But there's no show of it that we, we need to be masters of the understatement. And I think the boys have bought into the whole concept of respecting authority, respecting peers, showing integrity in, in their dealings on the field. You will probably have seen that we don't have boys arguing with the referee, they accept the decisions. And this is obviously something we instill in at school as well. So it's important for us just to make sure that there's mutual tolerance as well. But staying true to yourself, as we always say, the truth shall set you free. The school has about 1,200 boys and three boarding houses. Notable sports alumni include the Olympic swimmer Rake Nietling and cricketers Kepler Vessels and Hansi Cronier but Gray is most well known for the large number of Springboks it has contributed. In the 2010 European Tour, there were 10 old Greys in the Springbok squad. Andre Strauss, Dion Stechmann, Kuni Oosthuizen, Adrian Strauss, CJ van der Linde, Janni Duplessis, Bismarck Duplessis, Flip van der Merwe, Rohan Pinar, and Francois Stein. To this day, this remains a world record as the highest number of rugby players from a single school in a national touring squad. We asked coach Yanni Geldenais for his thoughts on the Paul Boys game. Finally, we are at a stage where we can ask the question of how well prepared we are. I think it's for the past two years, uh, most of the time I spend in preparing for this year's season. So I think the boys will be well prepared. I think. Um, the will to play is a, maybe the biggest thing at this stage and all boys I will be one of the top rugby schools in South Africa. I think there's a big excitement with Sean Erasmus being back at Boys High as well. And what a privilege for us to be able to play them. It's one of our biggest features on our fixture list and every year. And we are very excited to be able to get on the field and to compare ourselves with them. I think it is a very good benchmark to compare yourself to a highly, highly rated team like Paul Boys High and we can't wait to get on the field against them. Looking back at the last 10 results, the 2022 team went down to Padelgham recently by five points and drew with Oakdale. The Grey Boys are preparing for more stiff competition on Saturday and it's anyone's guess how they will perform against a quality side from Paul Boys. Ja, we hebben 15 Paul Boys um, uit ons thuis gespeeld en dit was een erg fysische game. Ik denk dat um, hulle gaan komen hierdie jaar is elke harde game uh, so inter tegen gerei. En um, ja, ik denk ons al twee is goeie geconditioneerde groepen. Maar ja, ik denk als je eind vlitje blaas, gaan ons om afsluit met te win. Het was een tough game, that's all I can remember. Het was een very, very tough game. 
we but we pulled through in the last. And what I expect this year, as usual, Paul, Paul Boys is always a hard team to play against. Good competition, but I do think that we're going to go away with a win. We played them at home in under 15, um, very tough and physical game. The forwards came in at the end and they won the game for us with a driving more. Um, I feel it's going to be a tough game at home again, but um, I think it's one we can tick the books for. Historically, the two schools have played seven times over the last eight years. Great College will be searching for victory in front of their home crowd, but they've lost to Paul Boys there before, and the Borland team will be wanting to turn the tables on that 34-point loss from last year. So by all accounts, this encounter is set up to be a cracker game to watch. Paul Boys High, at the foot of the iconic Powell Mountain, was founded in 1868. Known also as the Brotherhood of the Blue Blazer, or simply as Boys High, with its unique spelling, Paul Boys is steeped in tradition, and its values are based on three foundations, good conduct, good scholarship, and good sportsmanship. We always say that um, for 154 years, already the main focus of the school is not to achieve any accolade at all if it uh, if they do come around uh, like they have been then obviously we're very glad but the main focus of Paul Wars High is to send a young man out into the world who um, understands that it's his job to make a positive difference in a very negative world and who also understands that he's been fully equipped to do so it builds um, a, a culture of camaraderie uh, comradeship and of course the very valuable skill of being able uh, to work in a team. And with that comes a lot of discipline. And I think that's one of the most important skills that anyone can learn. Because all endeavors, as a matter of fact in life, consists of, of, of people who have to accommodate one another and have to work well with one another in order to achieve success. Sports alumni include the golfer David Frost and England cricketer David Malone. But like Gray, Paul Boys is best known as one of the foremost rugby schools in the country, having produced players like Maniki Sru, the Prince of Wings, Carl Duplessis, former Springbok captain Corne Kricker, and Gerth Rostienkamp. The 2019 Rugby World Cup winning squad included two Paul Boys alumni, in Thomas de Toy and Franz Malherbe. In that same 2019 team, there were also two old greys, Franz Stein and Kurbis Reinach. Obviously, 2019 we won, we won the World Cup, which is uh, very special memories that we'll take with us forever. Uh, and with a special group of people, uh, not only players, the whole management, coaching staff, it was a really special journey from where we started in 2018 to winning the World Cup at the end of 2019. Getting, getting into the squads and starting to train with Rossi and all of them, um, it's very intense. Uh, the amount of detail they put in, um, make sure that we are, we are all in sync and aligned and everyone um, going in the same way um, is mad. So, if, I mean, if your coach does the work as a player, you need to you need to do the work too to make sure you don't you don't fall behind, you don't slack. I mean, the final whistle goes, and we win win the World Cup. It it was magical, amazing, and just getting on the field with the boys after the game, mm -hmm. it, the whole squad effort of it of the whole um, tournament was was amazing. Here it is, the Springboks champions. It's been two years since the guys have been on the pitch, so basically your under-15s have become your first team and yeah, it should make for interesting games of rugby this year. Yeah, I think the most exciting thing is getting on the bus and leaving to Bloemfontein as a school. I mean, we are in mass, you know, we, um, we go with all our teams to Bloemfontein, so and in the first place that's a really special um, part of the year for us. And then the boys always look forward to measuring themselves against great college. I mean, they're a phenomenal school, they're a great rugby program, and yeah, we just look forward to playing them again. The Power Boys have had a busy start to the season, having already played in two rugby festivals. 
The 2022 squad has won most games except for a draw with Hartsfontein and the single loss to a strong Rondebosch team. They managed to win over a tough Oakdale outfit where Gray drew in their Oakdale encounter. However, the boys in blue will be playing away, so this will be very close. A monster game to watch in Bloemfontein. We've prepared well for this upcoming season, but like with COVID and everything, it's been a bit uh, tremendous. Now we had to shove everything into a very tight fixture of time, so yeah, very ecstatic for the season coming up. Anticipating great college, uh, so we are obviously the boys are going to go out there and do the best, but at the end of the day, it's all about who wants it the most. So, talking now before the time, the team that prepared the most come on top at the end of the day. Missing two years, it's been tough for me, but to be back, I'm just going to try and make the best of it and see what we can do as a team because I know we've got a lot of potential and I'm just trying to, we're trying to show the world what we can do. I always like the physical side of the game and yeah, to be a part of that again, see the big guys, play against the big guys is going to be very nice. Great College always uh, sided big forwards and fast backs, but when we're playing there, we're going to play there this year. It's a very broad field, so we're going to have to adapt to that a bit. The field's a bit wider than Brook Street, so it's going to be a good challenge, but we're, we're up for it. Kickoff is this Saturday, the 14th of May. It will be a bumper derby day of schoolboy rugby in the Free State. The stands will be packed as two of the top rugby schools in the country lock horns in Bloemfontein. Don't miss this quality encounter between Grey College and Paul Boys in Premier Interschools, live on Supersport this Saturday. Premier Interschools rugby, feast your eyes on it. All of the schools ready to sing to one another, the players back to the fans. Oh, yes! Look at that, the sidestep. Oh, that's the stuff. Schoolboy rugby, ladies and gentlemen.